The Celtics up by as many as 18 and leading by 15 at the break. 52 to 37. Toronto shooting just 33% in the first half. And I didn't mean to say the reigning champs that loudly. <laughs> Draymond Green, apologize for that. Kenny the Jet Smith is here. So is Charles Barkley, American Express Halftime Report. Let's hit the uh, American Express teammates in the first half. And uh, for the Boston Celtics, Jalen Brown with 11. Jason Tatum's got eight and five rebounds. Daniel Tice has chipped in with 11 points, a couple of three-pointers. These are two of the best defensive teams uh, in the NBA, both ranking top five ratings-wise in defi- uh, defensive efficiency, Draymond. Um, but what are the Celtics doing to keep Toronto to having this kind of night? I think one thing that Toronto struggles with is size. And so the Celtics, they're able to put bigger guys on on Boston's smaller guards, and they're crowding the paint. And so here here you have it where Siakam, Jalen Brown, 6'8". That's a tough shot. And coming back here. So now Jason Tatum be back and take Serge Ibaka. And normally that's a six-foot guard. You have a 6'8 guy contesting that shot. And then here we are once again. Everybody's pulled in, a natural X out, Jalen Brown close out. They're really locking the paint down, and, and Toronto struggling to score the ball. 52 37 is the score. Is it, uh, what's the combination here of bad offense and good defense, Charles? Well, it's a combination of both, obviously, but the one thing when you're struggling like this, this one you have to have a superstar. Yeah. I mean, you have to have one guy who can get his shot or get other people's shots. That was the one question we had about Toronto coming into the season. Was Siakam going to be able to do it? He's pretty much did it the entire season. But when the playoffs start, these guys know. Once the playoffs start, it's a totally different game for two reasons. Number one, you're not playing against the bad teams anymore. Uh, You're not playing against the bad team. You're playing against a good team seven straight days. And the second thing is they're not going – they're going to have a game plan against you. That's what's going to be the interesting thing. Toronto's great defensively, but offensively, is Siakam ready to take that next step and be the man? Yeah, playoff time when championships are handed out, Kenny, and you've kind of got that championship theme going with your uh, with your picks. Yeah, it, it, good play, bad play, but oh, he's going. Oh, oh. I'm not going to beat the champ. Oh, hey, hey, listen, listen. I'm not. Oh. Gonna, no, no. I'm not going to be the guy in the league. I ain't even trying. I ain't even trying. You win, brother. You win, brother. I'm not even trying. I ain't even trying. I ain't even trying. Oh. Nice. Oh, uh, nice. I knew he was going. I knew he was going today. I was like, no, I'm not even. You know, hey, Chuck. <laughs> He would have been able to guard you easily the way he got out there. I can see it. I'm just, I'm, just, I'm just going back for it. I remember I you, and what I just remember to him just now. That was a lightning uh, that was, step That right was there. not in your repertoire. Hey. Anyway, three, that's, all, that's all defense. Defensive play of the year, too. But anyway, uh, another thing. Three-time champion, just by, just want you to know that, too. All right, anyway. Oh, and all-star. Three times, three times yeah. Three times, yeah. All right, so anyway, we're going into this, and we talk about championship basketball, and you see Freeze it here. Look at Powell. He's like, no, I'm up. Marcus Smart is a physical guard, but I'm going to get physical with you. I'm going to be here. Connected, connected, in the right place, one foot in the lane. Everybody's in the right place defensively and offensively. But Boston says, what? I'm going to make freeze it here. I'm going to make you play. I'm not going to stay if I'm Robert Williams. When Serge Ibaka comes over and try to get the block, no, I'm going to dive to the rim. You're going to foul me. Championship basketball on both ends. Again, here's the Celtics. They said the same thing. Freeze it here. So now, I got Marcus Smart here. He said, no, I'm not letting Siakam go over the pick and let Kassam get all this action over the floor. We're sending it down. He's in the right place. He gets here. Active hands. Everybody, active hands. Active hands, everybody. And now, even though we don't get the skill, they don't get the basket. Again, everybody freeze it here. Powell fights through the pick here. You're going to watch everyone fight through for inches. He's supposed to be in a drop position because that's not a three-point shooter. All of a sudden, now everyone's in the right place. Get over the pick. Make him go back the other way. Hands up. Turnover. That's championship basketball, not just bad play. And, and when you say that, you know what I'm thinking about you, Draymond, is those Golden State teams that won championships. Sure, uh, the shooting and everything got everybody's attention, but you guys were so solid defensively. I've always said that um, the offense is sexy, and that's what everyone can see. So if you can put a number next to it, you can see how many three-pointers you make. You can see how many points the guy scores. 
everyone pays attention to that thing. But what made us great was our defense. We could switch everything. We had great length. And, that, and, and teams really struggle with that, and that's what Toronto is struggling with tonight. Toronto came in with the best defense in the bubble, allowing under 100 points a game. Only team in the NBA and the 22 teams to make that claim. They are losing tonight 52-37. to 37. Oh, no. He, uh, oh. That's not true. That's that not is true. not true, that Theo. Not true. <laughs> you better go watch some of the playoff runs. Oh, now, you yeah. catch me in a regular season, maybe not. <laughs>